Hello my students, today is in this video we are going to know how to rebuild the lower sunken incisor. First of all, we have to look into our costs to see what's missing in this tooth. Actually, we will find that the whole tooth is missing in this stone cost. So, we are going to rebuild the whole tooth as we see in the right picture. This tooth has the trapezoid shape or the fan shape of the incisor's lower teeth and the labial surface is convex with the maximum convexity found in the cervical third due to the presence of the cervical ridge while lingually we have the lingual anatomy of the lingual fossa surrounded by the marginal ridges mesial and the distal and the incisal ridge so we are going to see now how to rebuild this anatomy of the lower central incisor now we are going to prepare our instruments because the dropper and the block of wax and the napkin. First of all, we are going to add the layer by layer of the wax to get the sufficient height of the tooth, but make sure that the drops of the wax are very hot and melting in order to get inside the pores of the wax to make sure that the tooth is fixed to the stone. After we have added the wax completely of the sufficient height, we are going to prepare the labial surface. We are going to add the wax layer by layer in the labial surface to have the convex and the trapezoid shape of the labial surface. After we added the sufficient wax, we are going to remove any excess wax in the labial embrasure. And here we are going also to, to remove the wax in the labial embrasure, and then we are going to finish the wax with the stone. And here we are going to see that the tooth shape became trapezoid or fan shaped. And after all, we are going to finish the labial surface to be convex and smooth. And finally, we are going to remove any excess wax with the brush, and then we are going to make sure that we have, we have no any wax in the labial embrasures. And finally, we are going to finish the labial surface with the synthetic gloss. And here, this is the polished labial surface. Lingually, we are going also to add wax on the lingual surface in order to become smooth and having the same dimensions as the lingual surface of the adjacent central incisor and here incisally we have no excess wax so we are going to add to remove sorry any excess wax in the lingual embrasures after we removed all the wax from the lingual embrasure we will have the shape of the trapezoid or the fan shape of the lingual surface too here also we are going to remove any excess wax in the embrasures and finally we are going to draw the lingual fossa inside the lingual surface leaving the marginal ridges, mesial, distant and the incisal ridge. And here we are going to remove the wax of the lingual fossa with the spoon of the carver to become fully finished. Remove your excess wax with the brush and finally finish your incisal edge to become with the sufficient thickness as the incisal edge of the adjacent central incisor. And here this is the picture of the waxed up lower central incisor.